In this training session, we talk about plumbing top out done right the first time. Whenever possible, avoid venting the tub shower stack in the exterior wall. Tub shower vents in the exterior wall behind the insulation wrap are difficult to access. If you do pull the insulation wrap out of the way, be sure to reattach the wrap snugly. One 3 inch roof vent is required on each house. Use structural mending plates when board holes exceed 40% of the member dimension, notched holes exceed 24% of the member dimension. Holes should never be closer than 5 8 inch from the edge. Nail guards are not structural mending plates. Do not overbore holes. This is extra work and can result in the need for mending plates and additional air sealing. Vent island sinks according to DSLD standards. See the standard in the illustration. Place clean out at 15 inch center of pipe off the slab to the vent side of the loop. On walls where there is an obstruction like a window or a pass through 42 inches or lower, install the sink supply stub outs 18 inch to the center of the pipe to the slab. Kitchen sink drain to be 15 inch center of pipe off slab. Install clean out 15 inches off the slab to the center of the pipe and 4 inches over from the drain stub out. On walls where there is no obstruction like a window or a pass through with less than 42 inches of clearance, install sink supply stub outs 18 inch center of pipe to slab, kitchen sink drain to be 15 inch center of pipe to slab, install the clean out 21 inches off the slab to the center of pipe. Install the refrigerator box 12 inches off the slab, level, and secured on both sides. Washer boxes are located 42 inches from the finished slab to the top of the box. Make sure the hot water line feeds into the left valve. Feed water lines into the top of the box. Tolerance here of plus or minus one half inch. Place shower head supplies at 84 inch center of pipe off the top of the slab with a 3 inch stub out. Install shower valves at 48 inch center of pipe off the slab with a 1 quarter inch tolerance. Place a ledger along the wall to support the edges of tubs to prevent cracking and separation of the tile and grout surround above the tub. Place shims under the bottom back edge of the tub after it is in place and leveled. Center tub valve assembly 11 and 1 half inch above the tub deck. Center tub spouts 4 inch off the tub deck. Tolerance here is plus or minus 1 quarter inch. Secure the tub flange at every stud with non-corrosive screws to hold the tub in place. Do not damage the tub flange when installing the screws. Remove all personal and construction trash and debris from the job site as is stated in the trash agreement. Do not leave trash in sight or out of sight. There is a direct connection between the cleanliness of the job site and the homeowner's perception of quality. We do quality work. Let's keep it clean. Fill all tubs to overflow to check for leaks during top out. Locate drain stub outs under vanity sinks at 19 and 1 half inches to the center of pipe and centered in the vanity cabinet. Place vanity supply stub outs 21 and a half inches to the center of pipe off the slab and 4 inches center of pipe over from the drain stub out. Tolerance here are plus or minus 1 quarter inch. Install stub outs for the toilet supply 9 inches off the slab to the center of the pipe and 6 inches off the center of the drain. Stub out is to be copper and not PEX. There are no more than two fixtures to be supplied after the supply line has been reduced down to 1 half inch. When bending PEX, the radius for 3 quarter inch is no less than 7 inches and 5 inches for half inch PEX. Support PEX every two feet with a plastic talon. Begin talons two feet from the T. Provide blocking if necessary. There is a maximum of 20 feet travel from the attic access to the appliances in the attic. A 24 inch wide access walkway with a 30 inch by 30 inch platform is required by code. Terminate B vents according to the chart shown here. All through roof vent pipes are to be clean and free of debris.
Do not install them if they are not clean. Leave the vent pipe 9 inches above the OSB on the uphill side and plumb. Tolerance here is plus or minus 1 quarter inch. Dimension water service stub up 4 inches to center of pipe. Dimension hose bibs where there is no brick ledge 6 inches from OSB to the end of the spout. And 11 and a half inches to the end of the spout where there is a brick ledge. Tolerance here is plus or minus one quarter inch. Use copper stub outs for all T and P lines. Dimension end of spout two inches from OSB where there is no brick ledge and seven inches where there is a brick ledge. Center of pipe should be four inches above the top of the slab. Flash all penetrations with an approved adhesive back house wrap flashing tape. Taping sequence is shingle style starting at the bottom then the sides, and then the top. Use a roller or other tool to firmly adhere the flashing to the house wrap. In all electric homes, the water heaters will need to have heat traps installed on both the hot and the cold lines. These are simply inverted U's in the lines designed to cut down convective heat loss. Place stub outs for tankless water heaters on the garage side with the exception of homes with zero lot lines or where the gas must come in from the other side of the home. Place the stub out three feet back from the corner and 20 inches to the center of pipe for gas meter stub outs. 10 feet off the outside of the slab and 18 inches to the center of the pipe from the top of the slab for the first water heater stub out. Space penetrations no more than 12 inches wide. For right hand plans, the sequence is front to back, hot return, cold supply, gas supply. For left hand plans, the sequence from front to back is to be gas supply, cold supply, hot return. The drain line for the tankless water heater should be routed back into the wall and stubbed out following T and P specifications. Insulate water supply lines to prevent freezing in cold weather. Install a single gang box with the thermostat control wire above the light switch in the master closet furthest to the back of the home. Mount the unit box six feet above the slab. This is how we do it. All vents directed through the roof. All supply stub outs placed correctly. All tub and shower surrounds in place secured and protected from damage, all debris removed according to the trash agreement. Do it right the first time and everybody wins.